I am ringing the closing bell at the New York Stock Exchange in honor of Women's History Month with one of my favorite organizations, Sucky, and let's get ready together. Hi everyone, today is such an exciting day. As usual, I have like 20 minutes because I'm not gonna lie, I, uh, I kind of needed a little power nap and <laughs> Like power naps, I'm telling you, they really do make a difference. And I did not set my alarm. So I was supposed to like do a little power nap for um, 10 minutes and I ended up sleeping for 30. So, you know, that cut into things a little, but that's okay because, you know, we're still gonna make it. We're still gonna look good. It's gonna be easy. I am wearing such a cute outfit, which honestly speaks for itself. It is, um, kind of like a power suit situation by Bibu. And um, it's like such a statement in itself that I'm gonna do super simple hair. I wanted to do like a slicked back bun situation because, you know, like very Kelly Kapoor business bitch vibes is kind of what I was thinking for today, but I want it like really slicked back and like pulled tight. So I'm just gonna like kind of do this. I feel like the trick with buns, you get a nice lift when you pull really tight like that. This is going well. Hair gods in my favor. Need my hair tie, of course. Why do I always forget it? Okay, I'm just gonna pull and adjust a little now that I got it up. I like how that's looking. I'm gonna take this hair gel. This is a... Um, got to be like gel basically and i found this on amazon this is like the best thing for flyaways ever because it just slicks them back and makes them look so nice and then a little extra trick if you have black hair which i'm going to do at the end because let me secure this first so i'm just going to make like a little bun situation twist it's nothing fancy and I'm gonna twist it all in and get another hair tie to secure it. Basically just made it like a little ballet bun and it's gonna stay like that. I'm gonna spray it a little later. But now that I basically have that done, I'm gonna take a mascara wand. This is Maybelline mascara. Do not use your expensive mascara on this. Um, and I'm gonna take this and like fill in the little spaces can you see that so it just looks fuller on the sides and because my hair is black it actually works really well there's more on this side but i think you'll notice like the difference just kind of brush it patch it in isn't that a neat little trick honestly no one taught me this i kind of did it and at once and i was like this actually works really well why does no one do more of this? Um, well, I guess it does, it works well if you have the right color hair. But I mean, I know there's like dark brown mascaras or even just using like a clear mascara gel, but it really does just kind of pull everything together. So this is pretty much the hair look. I'm gonna get into makeup. I just wanna go over this once more here to make it all look like really slick. This is just a clear gel. Yeah. Is it giving Sophia Richie vibes? I feel like she always does this side part type bun, <laughs> um, which always looks so cute on her. All right, let's go to makeup. I have been very familiar with Sucky and I've known their work for a while now, but this year I definitely got more involved. I was introduced to one of the board members. I hosted a uh, the Wally party with Sucky and she was there. We just had a great conversation and her name is Indrani and she is older and we were talking about complexion and uh, she had told me that uh, colorism is actually one of the first things that causes domestic violence. Which I did not know that that statistic existed and that is the work that they do and the space that they are in and seeing how I can use my platform to help magnify the work that they do day in and day out. Um, and you all know that like I care so much about using my voice and impact for good and so this is um, a new one that I really officially started working with. I mean I've been familiar with them for like 
probably 10 years now, but, um, and I've been to like their galas and stuff, but really have now started getting into conversations with their board members. How do we actually create like uh, more of an impact of storytelling, um, which I've been talking to them about, which is my forte and strength that I can bring to the table. So um, I've just gotten to know a lot more people in the organization and I love what they're doing and it's just really great work. So that is why they asked me to join them today, which I'm really honored. This is always like so special. I had rang the stock exchange bell before when I was Miss America. It must have been when I was Miss America. I think I rang the opening bell. I don't know if I've ever closed. So this is the first time closing, the doing like the closing ceremony, which is which is fun. I know I shared like doing the the NASDAQ one, but this is this is different. This is like the actual New York Stock Exchange floor. And it's also in honor of Women's History Month, which is why it's a really special, important day. We're kicking it off and I love that. So it's gonna be fun. I'm looking forward to seeing uh, so many people. I haven't seen them in probably a few months. We're actually been in conversation of doing like an event around complexion. Um, an event or screening around complexion with Saki, which I will keep you all updated on if we're able to do a, pi a, a public sort of facing event. Um, but if it is public, then I will for sure let all of you know, and I would love for all of you to come, which would be amazing. I'm so glad that everyone who's here is joining me here because I love being able to share the work that I do and my life, but I also understand that when you're an activist and when you are in heavy spaces like this and the work that I do sometimes is heavy work and it is not easy to always talk about or listen to. Um, and so I understand that, but I want to be able to share as much of my life as I can. And this is a large part of what I have always done. And I think that's why when I think about how come when I post like a selfie or like, hey, here's my favorite lipstick or just like a full face of makeup, get more likes and views when I talk about something important or impactful is often my frustration because it just, that's just how it is. And um, I'm trying to find a good, just a good way to balance that. So let me know in the comments, please join this conversation because I'm still learning how to balance that and how to you know, incorporate these things to make them digestible, which I don't know if they were, if they will ever be digestible, but I do think that being able to communicate that there are um, ways that we can use our voices to uplift other people. And yes, it is nice to have these celebratory moments like going to the New York Stock Exchange and be recognized for the work, but you know, this is just one day out of 365 other days that I am working on things behind the scenes. You know, any organization, any person, any human is working behind the scenes and people sometimes see only just like the results or the fun moments and think that like that is what building a brand, building a company, building an organization, creating a movement, anything you want to insert into is just happens overnight. <laughs> and. I assure you, if there's one thing I've learned is that nothing happens overnight. One of my goals for this channel was to share more truth behind the scenes because I've never really given people that kind of access because I mean, I, I didn't really have time. Now I'm making time. And as I'm writing my memoir, and I think the biggest thing behind the memoir is I don't wanna release something into the world to people who feel like they don't know me. And I feel like so much has happened in these 10 years since Miss America that I've just never shared. And I'm excited about the book that I'm writing for sure. Don't get me wrong, but damn it, there goes my powder. Um, don't get me wrong, but it's still only one part of my life. Hold on, we gotta do this eyeliner. Okay, eyeliner's on. We gotta get going because we do. Let's contour a little bit. Be careful of your hairline. But yeah, I mean, I think the biggest thing I was saying is that I just want to be able to start introducing like other parts of myself. And I wasn't ready to do that before because I couldn't, like I had to just like do a lot of work on myself. I'm actually thinking about doing a series of, uh, that's called how 
how I became Miss America and like take you through that journey because I know I have not made a video on that at all. Like I've shared some uh, other things of like, kind of like little Ask Nina stuff, but I've never like taken you from the beginning to the end of like the Miss America side of the journey. And I think that's important. So I want you to, if you are watching this, first of all, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Like it makes me really happy to read the comments. Um, but leave me like questions in the comments because this is 100% gonna dictate like what stories I tell. Believe me, there's a lot of stories I tell. I'm also gonna be like pulling out my journal and reading from it because I think it just goes to show where I was at that time. And again, like it's important to give some context and background and obviously all of these stories are not going to be making it in the book. Like the book is very different. And so I think being able to just share some like fun stuff too, like that year was fun. I'm not gonna lie. Like, yeah, it was really hard. It was really challenging. It was, it has shaped who I am today, right? Like it, I mean, all of the past years have shaped who I am today. All of it contributes. Um, but that year specifically is a whirlwind and it's nice to be able to take you through that and, um, everything else. But okay, I have to go because I'm running late. I'm going to get my lips on, get my outfit on, and I will take you with me everywhere else. Okay. Oh yeah. Leave me questions, but there's going to be more in the video. Okay. All right. Here is the jacket situation. I'm obsessed with all of it. I'm obsessed with like the look, the color, the fit. It feels like effortless, but it also is just like elevated. I have two shoes. I have those John Vito Rossi pumps, and I have these Stuart Weitzman little, uh, I don't know, what do you call these? These aren't like moccasins, but I feel like this is like, looks like a tuxedo shoe, you know? What's the word for that? I'm liking on it. Um, this looks more night out, the Jean Vito Rossi ones. So I feel like for today, I'm gonna go with the Stuart Weitzman. And I haven't worn them yet, and I feel like today is like a really, good day to be able to do that. All right, and it's gonna be cobblestone, so make your life easy at times, you know? Do the comfort chic thing, it's in. All right, cool, let's go.